John and I are uh, snowshoeing at Rumble Lake, so we parked across Mount Shark, and the snow is up to our knees and more in some areas, uh, but here it's okay. Um, John, how are you doing? Yeah, good. And he got these snowshoes and I got these ones. Just how deep is the snow? Let's see. Close to knee deep. What do you think the challenges are? To sink in that deep. I guess we both figured that with snowshoes, maybe you might sink in maybe half a foot, maybe a foot. We really didn't think that, we didn't anticipate that we would be sinking in up to our knees. Uh, the other thing that Jan had realized is that uh, having poles are very useful. Very, very useful. And yeah, uh, a lot more exercise in regular hiking because you have to lift your knees pretty much parallel just to get your feet out of the snow every single step. So there's a lot more work involved in snowshoeing. Weather's really nice and uh, getting lost is not a factor because it's not snowing and uh, we could just follow our tracks. There is a lot of moose tracks around. Yeah, we've been seeing them all over the place. John and I have been going up for about 150 meters, maybe 200. And uh, we were looking for the trail that leads to Rummel Lake. And uh, we finally found it, found it. Sorry, my mouth is freezing. But uh, yeah, up here is, uh, there's some animal tracks too. Moose tracks probably. So it's more packed down. We don't have to uh, lift our knees up to our chins anymore. <laughs> It's been two hours now and uh, it's leveled out a little bit, still on track, probably more than halfway now, maybe three quarters. We see no signs that we're on the right trail, oh, well, except for uh, Jan's been using his Google Maps and uh, we've been finding our trail that way. For confirmation though, if you're going to Rummel Lake, you should see this. That arrow means we did a good job. Three quarters of the way and now we have markings here. Look. Okay, so if you see a bridge, don't go that way. That was the wrong way. Uh, make your way off to the left of the bridge and you'll see more of these. Also, the way we were going was an avalanche prone area, apparently. So, this is Rummel Lake. It's a small lake and it's covered in a lot of snow. I have no idea what these mountains are. That one's huge. We are looking for a place to sit down because that where Jan was is not a good place to sit down. Jan, be careful. It seems frozen. That's the water. But we're in the middle of Rummel Lake. I don't think Jan would have went on the lake because he was too chicken. But yeah, if you look behind me, we've got these mountains. I wish they, I knew the mountains. 
They're like these are pigs. Look at it. Yawn. Ten times easier now that the snow is all packed down. Almost at the end of our journey. And Jan has a sore back. You know, he's not as tough, eh? He's young and supple like a woman. Just kidding. No, he's tough. But uh, he also has the physical job. Not like me. I sit on my uh, butt all day on the computer. In terms of views, well, there's one part that has a view, but the rest of the way is all trees, all the way up until the lake. Like 99.999% of it. A two and a half stars out of five, and I would probably give it the same thing. But in terms of aerobic workout, I don't know, I give it pretty high actually. It was a little bit tough since we broke the trail. Look at that! We're almost home free! Woohoo! This is the trail we just came down, and we are very sure we did not come through here. Jan and I made a big mistake. We made so much work for ourselves going up this route, not realizing that there's an easier one down this way, a nice gradual route. This is your first snowshoe experience. What, what did you learn today? Take the right trail. Yeah, but how would you know? I don't know. <laughs> Bring the book. Yeah, but it, I, yeah, I think the book just says go straight up. Yeah. Bring poles. Gators. Gators. Bring gators because uh, he got snow in his boots. Wear winter boots. He has hiking shoes. Like crazy, crazy, crazy guy. That's a bit it, I think. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Snowshoeing isn't complicated. Left at 10, it's 2.39, took four and a half hours. So I think we did pretty good, Jan and I. We didn't take many breaks today. So, yeah.